all right more more broken age we're back into this yeah so we're back into viola viola vela vela story Vella? not elijah wood so don't get yeah uh, it's not, it's not elijah wood it. um so we just landed in this cabin right? yeah last time we left off we had left the cloud place yeah for uh I think we went to like a swamp or something. It's been a while since we recorded. We're not gonna lie, uh, um, nah. <laughs> but I had a uh, I had a lot of fun, and we we definitely wanna we definitely wanna finish out at least her story and uh, and and hear Elijah Wood talk at yeah. least once. So. Yeah, I, I want to hear Elijah Wood. So let's let's see what we can do in this cabin. I think I think I want to go down the stairs first. Yeah, definitely. And, oh yeah, and talk to our good friend Will Wheaton. Uh, Will Wheaton. That looks like him. All right. Um, <clears throat> so he's obviously confused. Um, okay. I Me too. You. Oh, really? Great. Hey, who are you? What? My name's Bella. What's yours? Bella, Bella. of course. Bella. Sorry, I thought you were a tree. Okay. Um. Okay. All um, right. Do you just want to cut to the point here, or uh, <laughs> I, I think we let's explore Curtis's psyche Have you a little bit. Yeah. No, they only started talking recently. How can I cut down trees when they're screaming at me? Fair enough. That, that's a problem. That's like, yeah. It's the main reason why you? you know people don't kill babies. All kinds of <laughs> insults, like really over the line type stuff. It's been rough. But the worst part is not having any wood to build stuff with. Maybe you shouldn't cut down trees then. But I'm a woodworker. If I can't cut down trees, where will I get my wood? I have no answer for that. Hmm. He's got us there, honestly. So you're a woodworker. Could you make me something? Like what? Cloud shoes. <laughs> Three more wishes. <laughs> yep. No. A weapon, a weapon to kill Mogchatra? Yeah. That dude is a bummer. But I don't think I could make something that powerful. How you're a Quill Wheaton. A nice three-legged stool. Yeah. Mm. He says three legs. Yeah. I haven't done a stool in so Whoa. Long. That's a poop joke, guys. Yeah. Poop joke. Okay, make me a stool. I'd love to. If only I had some wood. Well, well Listen, so I thought this was tea. Big mess upstairs. <laughs> oh, did another tree fall on my roof? No, I fell out of the clouds Be and crashed into it a little. That That's doesn't cool. make any sense. A little? I needed a little fresh air in here anyway. Been well, kind of cooped up for too long, you know? Well, all right. Will you help me kill Magchatra? Sorry, conscientious objector. But I'm not using my axe. You're welcome to it. Oh, good. Ooh, think I could kill Magchatra with that? Oh, well, <laughs> no. I really don't think anything could kill Magchatra. Catch you later, Curtis. Beware the trees. <laughs> I only crashed into your house and known you for a couple seconds, and I'm gonna take your axe. I like how even like the faucet is dripping. Not yeah. Until the tree stopped talking. Okay then. Sweet. So I, I'm gonna cut down some trees for Curtis. Yeah. So now we have that, and also we have a window pane. Is I don't remember seeing that. Go into your inventory again. Oh, that must be from where we crashed. Into crashed, the... and we also have birds. And we still have our ladder, which is good. Our ladder. We, we're gonna need that ladder at some point with cloud shoes on it. Yep. Um, let's go try to repair that window. And we're gonna see what's in. I'm assuming is Curtis's bedroom. Whoa. Yeah. That's the second hole I've put in this cabin so far. Whoa. I'll put it back just as soon as I'm done with it. No, apparently what? not. Oh. No, I don't want to go back up to the hmm. clouds. Okay, this is very interesting. Well, backtracking doesn't surprise me, but we're getting the the heck out of Cloudsville. It's just interesting that you can do that, that you can go between... I would consider this a new chapter new in chapter. her story. Sure. So it's interesting that you could backtrack we, chapters, basically. Well, we may have to go back. You never know. I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't tell the trees I'm in here, okay? And when you hit the main trail, head east. There is an extremely territorial snake in the other direction. Gotcha. Going to see the snake. So, east. No, we're going west. Wait, east? Yeah. Oh, oh God. West. What was it, north? Meh. 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 That's never good to hear. Meh. Steal his 
mail. Yeah, let's uh, commit a crime. Steal let's that mail. Let's see what's going on. The Steal flag is it. up. Hmm. This guy the flag's up. Mail in a while. It just, don't they usually put the flag up when you get mail? Yeah, I think so. God damn it. I don't know, man. We're in Canada. Where I have a super are we box. going? What is? Okay, which one of you trees has been bugging Curtis? I feel like. Do you remember hmm. from Pocahontas, the uh, the mother tree? I feel like we're gonna run into that mother tree. We just ran into the great Deku tree. Um, or Deku tree. It's another one. Yeah. I, I don't. I like, should have went with that. Don't reference. like this tree. Okay, now I see why the trees were freaking him out. <laughs> Use no, axe. That sounds like somebody's stuck. I have a feeling I might regret this. No regrets. You'll wake up the other trees. She's got an axe. Run! She's a murderer! Okay, look, I'm getting rid of the axe, okay? Just stop screaming, please. Idiot. Oh man, god damn. Please don't scream anymore. You can't silence me! I'm going to wake up this whole <laughs> forest! I'm here on behalf of Curtis the Lumberjack. That homicidal psychopath? I once saw him hack an old lady to death. Jesus. Wow. A tree, really? not, not, a, yes. not a person. A 300 year old spruce, mining her own branches. Wow. Then he comes along. And the next time I see her, she's a. Oh God! If I say it, I think I might be sick. Say it. What did Curtis do to the old spruce? I want to see him be sick. He, he butchered her. Turned her into a a stool. Oh God! Almost barking. I think I just broke my mouth a little bit. In your barky mouth. Are you magic? Can you help me kill Magchatra? Is that all you humans think about killing? You all make me want to puke. Just yeah, we kill a lot. Hey, can I have some of your sap? That You're sounds dirty. Like the rest of them. Get your mind out of the tree gutter. <laughs> steal all our thick, luscious, and incredibly useful fluids. You humans make me want to throw up. This guy wants to throw up a lot. Because I refuse to give you the pleasure of my sap. Okay. That. Yeah. That just happened. That's a thing. That you just got happened. a little something in the corner of your mouth. Oh my god. Oh, that's just a little sap. Is this making you uncomfortable? A little bit. Alright, alright. Come, yeah, come, come, come on, Tim Schaefer. Come on, Tim Schaefer. Why are you so upset? I just can't stand of Curtis. in silence while you murderous humans mutilate my brethren. It makes me sick. Everything makes you sick. I've never seen a talking tree before. Well, I've seen plenty of axe-wielding murderous humans, so get lost. I'll let you get back to your screaming. Yeah, please leave before I vomit, you foul, ruthless stump. So much puke. I... <laughs> I'm gonna hang this pretty crystal here. No, you are not. <laughs> but... Can I just hang my shoes up here to dry? No. I don't think that the ladder's gonna work. I've got a ladder in my pocket. <laughs> Bet that will make you bar for sure. Is it from there aloft? They only use naturally fallen branches collected by their birds. See? It's possible to live in harmony with nature, you bugbarian. Dang. All right, our character model just like snap back to place. Let's go find the snake. Hello, Shell uh, Oh, stink like mound. Chathra hasn't gotten here yet. Smell mound. Look at this. Look at this gull. Ooh, blueprints. <laughs> Oh, they must be waiting for Mog Chathra. Excuse me, uh, Mayor? What? Mayor? Uh, why did you say that? Because you should. Because you because should. Because you look no. like a mayor. <laughs> mm, I have to admit you're not the first person to tell me that. Nice but alas, sand hill in your head. I yeah. am merely yeah. Maiden's Feast Marshal Dune, a humble man of the people. For now. <laughs> what? Hey. About your bucket hat. Bucket hat. What? what about it? Can I have it? Certainly not. It's an integral part of my soon-to-be mayor look. Hey, about your bucket hat. So you're going to say please? What? I'm what going about to. it? This time? Uh, oh. Yeah. It looks terrible on you. 
might cost you the election. Please, whom am I to trust? My highly paid stylist or a girl wearing half a dress? Hey now. Hey now. So you're running for mayor of Shellmound? My hopes and dreams, just sand castles built too close to an angry sea. I had hopes, child, but this construction debacle under my marshalship has washed them all away. Uh, okay. When is Mog Chakra supposed to get here? Any minute. So much to do. But you're talking to me. Then why are you talking to a girl with half a dress on? I need to enter the Maiden's Feast. Child, at this point, we may not even have a Maiden's Feast. <laughs> oh, guess I know where main quest. Not that you quest. have the right scent for it anyway. Whoa. Are you saying I smell bad? Whoa. No, heavens no, child. You smell like birthday cake and fluffy clouds. Two places that she's been. Of fresh pie. Not in third place. Yeah. That's just not the sort of aroma that hooks the big fish. Talk to your grandmother. I'm sure she has what? a fragrance recipe she'll share with you. How does he know? I think mean, he's just using in general, man. Um, I right, let, let him do his thing. Feast. Yes, yes. These maidens aren't going to serve up themselves. All right, burger flipper. Um, mm. We have one like that back home. We're making upside down cakes. God damn it. I think you misclicked. Let's try it again. I don't think that would help. So you can take a. Hi, Ooh. you maidens getting ready for the maidens feast? <laughs> what? <laughs> well, I guess that they are actual nice fishes. Nice costumes. Thanks. Our dads made them. They're the best fishermen in the village, so they're pretty good at tying lures. We had to use every hook in town, but it was worth it. What about fishing and eating and surviving? Hey, can I have some of that perfume? <laughs> That's not perfume. That's a proprietary luring compound known as Beast Hooker. <laughs> Irresistible. Tomorrow. I'm sorry. Beast Hooker might be the next big perfume scent. Yeah, I think Jessica Simpson's going to actually pick that up. Jessica Simpson. I haven't heard that name in 10 <laughs> years, man. Either way, Beast Hooker. Ask if you can have some Beast Hooker. Hey, can I have some of your Beast Hooker? That's better. But no, you can't. <laughs> Sorry. It's her secret sauce. Ew. Whoa. Ew. Ew. How about just one? How about just one little squirt? What? If what are they? Not gonna give any making to my a castle friend, with that crane. Zilla, I'm certainly not gonna give oh wait, any just disappeared. <laughs> I said I don't want any. I don't use performance enhancers. Performance Wow. <laughs> Isn't somebody gonna miss those hooks? Like the not village? as much as they're gonna miss us. You're gonna make me cry, girl. Uh. God. Hey maidens, I'm going to kill Mog Chathra. Huh? Not half as hard as I'm gonna kill it. I'm already killing it in this outfit. Oh this snap! You don't even have arms, girl, on the right. Don't you guys ever wonder if there's another way to save the town? I mean, um, this is how it's always been done. Yeah, they figured out how to do it a long time ago, so we wouldn't have to think about it. Yep, status quo. All right, see you later. See you, maidens. Or just sound like Ciao. Bioshock brainwashing. Now, let's see if there's any uh, useful inventory. We can get out of this. Give me this stump. Ooh, nice. So and smooth. Let me roll around. This chum trough makes me really happy. I grew up in a baking in town instead of a fishing town. I just hope my baking town is still standing. I don't think there's anything that we can put in here. I don't want to put this. Pretty Let's see. Can we get those fishing rods? These fishing poles are useless. Nope, All they're the useless. Have been stolen. Hmm. Okay. I need the bucket to put it in the chum. <laughs> Throw it on those on those two chum bucket. What the hell? Huh? Are you like so strafing? Oh my god, they got a gun. Darn. All out of holy tear gas. Holy tear what? Gas. This, is this is the Assassin's Creed. Yeah. The dead eye god sees no one. I can see like the back of of her hood. How does she have a? F Who are you two? <sighs> Dead Eye Dawn, and this is Dead Eye Courtney. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what is this place? The Dead, Dead Eye 
pyramid. Oh, Deadeye Courtney. Dead Tomb Courtney. of the Dead Eye God. <laughs> As if you didn't know. As if. Can I go inside? You wish to invade our holiest of shrines? Why? Uh, I don't know. It just looks cool. It does? We wouldn't know. We're blind. Oh, what? sorry. But no one enters the Dead Eye Pyramid. No one. Well, unless. What? Well, if she could solve the riddle of yarn. Solve the riddle of yarn? Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> sounds, like that, sounds like a wild question. Sounds like a question. definitely be worthy. Yep. God. No problem. Yep. Um, could you remind me how the riddle of Yorn goes one more time? You always take us down when we are in our prime. Devour your sweet rewards, yet I'll return in time. A child of mine will rise out of his rotten bed, up from a hidden pit long after I am dead. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. Bring us the solution, and you may enter the pyramid. Uh, okay. Um, I think it's... We may even have it already. Hey, can I get you guys something? Like what? Some more holy tear gas? Oh, yeah. Here. I thought those are blind. Just fill that up for me if you could. Bye. <laughs> Sense you later. Ugh. Rotten. So what do you think that riddle means? I think it means Mog Chathra. Are you sure? Yeah, man. That's the thing it's talking Rises about? Rises up just in time. Stealing things. Hidden pit. Okay. Are you really going to fill it with fish guts? Come to me, old chum. Damn right yes. I am. I mean, when is this not going to come in handy? I'm gonna spray it all over that tree now. Let's go get the tree. Hey, tree. I'll let you get back to your screaming. Yeah, please leave before yeah. I. Bo no, he just screamed more. Aww. I take the driftwood to our buddy here. Actually, what? We didn't go this way earlier. I like how there's no way to tell east or west anyway. Wait, is this east? West? See, she doesn't know either. Oh, look, there's a snake with attitude. Hey! <laughs> Exertion! Go! Exertion! Can't. Snakey! Oh. Okay, you can do stuff now. So let's see. Blow into that. Blow it. Do it. She can't breathe, though. She can't breathe. How is, how is that a thing? Okay, so, so I think we cannot get through that area yet. Got it. Safe to say. But yeah, let's give uh, Will Wheaton the driftwood. Check it out. Non-talking wood. Oh, and it's so smooth. Oh, man. I feel a stool coming on. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, um, yeah, that kind of stool. Ooh, that's what? a relief. Yeah. Tell me about it. I feel ten times better. Oh, Thanks God. Me get that out of my system. Oh, my God, the poop jokes. I want you to have it. Really? Thanks. No problem. I like to spread my samples around. <laughs> This has been a 20 minute poop joke that I totally allow. I'm okay with all of this. Yeah. So what do you think we have to do with that stool? You know what I'm saying? I I don't know. I this mean, stool. poop jokes have already been made. I guess we can show it the tree the stool. It looks kind of ceremonial. It does. Let's show the tree the stool. Okay. Hey, buddy. Sorry to do this to you, but... Oh my god, is that mutilated tree flesh? You see, what Curtis does is he peels off the outer layer of the wood <laughs> to get to the tender stuff inside. 
Then he dips the whole thing in an acid bath. Before he begins the deep oh my God. carving. Oh, sorry, did that upset you? You monster! <laughs> I was actually thinking in my head, you monster. Wow, it's getting thicker okay, every okay. second. Strong stuff, kid. Don't mess with it. Man, what's wrong with you? Alright, check inventory. <laughs> check inventory. Uh, uh, we can't fill the gun up with it yet. And barf? Yeah. That's just over you can the only line. fill it with one Why thing. Why ruin this pretty crystal sun? What are these shoes? Can't use the shoes. I don't want to get it stuck. No. <gasps> I don't want to get it stuck. No. I don't want to ruin them with sap. I'm missing something. Or we just fill the gun with it after. Can you use the gun on yourself? No. Well, maybe. I maybe. Fish traps. No way. Okay. I'm not becoming seagull bait. Inconspicuous. I want his bucket. Oh gosh. That's the real reason I carry this pitch pipe. This beach is notorious for seagull attacks. So you wasted it, but we can go back to that thing and uh, get more. It's obviously still got some guts in it. Ah, okay. Spare one of them. Performance enhancer. <laughs> Just throws it. Ugh. Gross, Drusilla. Don't you think I can smell that? <laughs> okay, this time it really oh was fart jokes. Perfume. It's a perfume. Hey, maybe this perfume is what's attracting them. I'll get rid of it. Great. Ow. Great idea. What about me? Ow. I exude it naturally. You. She has to save whom she can't. Ow. I'll tell Mog Chakra about you, Drusilla. Booyah. Solution to the riddle of yarn is perfume because you put it in your rotten pits. What about the part with the children? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you don't really put perfume in your armpits, <laughs> do you? What about wooden stool, huh? This stool is the solution to your riddle. How's that? Well, I mean, you could sit on it while you think of the real answer. Oh, snap. Look at this pretty crystal this blind This pretty people. window is the solution to the riddle? Are you asking me or telling me? Both. Telling you? <sighs> what do you think we should do with that perfume? I'm not quite sure yet. Spray we definitely have now? to... Uh, no, because he has the thing for the seagulls anyway. Uh, but the seagulls aren't attracted to that. Can you hear me up there? Check out my new perfume. Hmm. Maybe you didn't apply enough. Supply so it to yourself. Oh, okay. <gasps> then you're going to smell like what he wants. Oh, man. Why would you spray it in your face, you <laughs> idiot? The things monsters go for these days. All right, now, yeah, go to him. Go, to him. go back to him. To this guy? Yeah, because he said you didn't smell Marshall, right. Mm -hmm. Uh, how about that bucket hat? The oh. oh, my, oh, my. Now that is how you attract a monster. Okay. You are in, my girl. My compliments to your grandmother. I like the Truly mist. Monstrous. Yeah. Now, if there only was going to be a maiden's feast. Did you say there might not be a maiden's feast? The sea, she is angry this day. I'm trying to build the offering arena, but the waves keep washing it away. Hey. About your bucket hat. What? What about it? Can I please have it? I like your manners, but I like my hat more. 
Wow. Hey, do you know the answer to the riddle about the pits and rotten bed? What kind of pits are you talking about? Huh. Not sure. I guess not. How about now? Is the construction coming along better? Ah, the sand is falling apart, and so am I. Better let you get back to the feast. Yes, yes. These maidens aren't going to serve up themselves. Alright, so what I think is a good idea now is for us to take a break from this part. Yeah. And be right back with you guys. You guys. Tomorrow with another part of this. So today, let's yep. let's let's do a brief let's recap. It's been about save. That's my little while since we've been playing. So there's no save. No. Uh, escape. Yeah, it's an escape. Yeah. So uh, look at that. Dingo. Is that Okay. Done. Um so uh, today, what did we do? We got driftwood, we got the piece of glass, we got an axe, we made a tree throw up. We got a stool. We got some stool. Um, holy holy water gun. We did have a gun for a little bit and then tossed it away. Yep. Which is interesting because they're never getting that thing back. Nope. Um, we have the ability to be in the ceremony. We're stinky. As long as there's a ceremony, we're in, the, we're in it. Yep. Because uh, we're kind of those kind of girls. Um, we, we, we saw some of the best poop jokes I've seen in a long time. I haven't seen uh, a poop joke like that in quite some years. Some quality so. poop. Yep, from Will Wheaton himself. Will Wheaton. So uh, I think next time we're probably going to go back into the Lumberjack's house, maybe look inside of his room that we didn't end up going into. Mm, yeah, we'll have no, to we did. We did. We'll have to check because it went the up ladder, ladder. right? Yeah. But we're going to try to figure out, the, figure out this riddle. we got to get into that Temple of the Deadeye. Yeah. And we gotta we got to get this thing uh, prom ready, basically. Um, if uh, if Mon Chakra, Count Chocula, Tricks of Kids uh, ends up coming here. So uh, yeah. that's going to be next episode. We're going to be building the arena probably and uh, figuring out that riddle. But uh, I don't think I missed anything. No, I think that's about it. All right. Thanks, guys, for watching. See and guys. we'll catch you guys tomorrow. Bye. See ya.